Beauty and the Beast. Chapter 4 A Promise with the Beast. No one steals my roses. I fed you and even let you sleep in my castle. I will not forgive you. Standing in front of the merchant was a fierce looking beast. His whole face was covered with fur and he had two large fangs curled around his large mouth. The merchant was scared for his life. He shook all over. I am truly sorry. The voices looked so beautiful. Please forgive me for intruding. But the beast was furious. No, I will not forgive you. You will be locked up in my castle. The merchant was terrified and wanted to return to his children. He begged the beast for forgiveness. I wanted to keep my promise made to Rose, my youngest child. I'll leave immediately. I have twelve precious children I must return to. They're all waiting for me. Please. Then the beast gazed at the merchant and spoke in a rather low voice. Under one condition, bring one of your daughters to me. She will be punished on your behalf. What do you mean, bring my daughter? I cannot do that. If you don't, then I will go down to your home and bring all of them back here. You have 30 days. You will discover who is the bravest amongst your daughters. Leave tomorrow at dawn and leave in 30 days with one of your daughters. The merchant knew the beast was serious. He didn't want to harm to come to his children. He wanted to leave right away, but he had no choice but to obey. Bring back my daughter? What am I supposed to do? What will I tell my children? The merchant returned to the small room with the fireplace. He found a table prepared for dinner, but he had no appetite. He was sitting despondently, staring at the fire, when the beast appeared again. How was dinner? When the sun rises and the golden bear is wrong, you will find the horse ready in the front yard. This horse will lead you back when you return with your daughter. The rose is my gift. Take it with you. Don't forget what you have promised. The merchant couldn't fall asleep. He kept thinking about what the beast had demanded. The next morning, he heard a bell ring. When he went outside, he saw a strong white horse waiting for him. He rode the horse back to his village. The entire ride, the merchant was gravely worried. Finally, the sheikh appeared on the horizon. He could see his children in the distance. Beauty and the Beast Narrator 1, Emma Kim Narrator 2, Ye Sung Lee Beast, David Yu Father, Ellie Son Music, Dr. Lee Present by 2023 Spring Semester JCS Podcast Club